All I'm going to say is, mm, what is that word that people say whenever you predict something and then it comes out to be accurate? What is that word? Uh, I think it rhymes with, I bold you so. I think that's the word, but I'm just gonna go on a limb and say, I told you guys, I told you guys what the outcome was going to be. I told y'all, I told you it was gonna be a two on two. I said this in like four videos ago and <laughs> people were thinking I was crazy. People thought I was like, I didn't know what I was talking about. Bro, dude, I got this WWE thing on lock when it comes time to these predictions, bro. I'm telling you, these storylines, like these, these angles that they be pushing, I be having them on lock, but, what did what did throw me what did throw me was i keep doing it again i always do this smackdown highlights seth rollins and cody rose go to smackdown to confront the bloodline which includes roman reigns the rock jimmy uso and solo and paul Heyman. the last three i shouldn't have just named because the first two was the only two who was talking but they came and they pretty much started talking. It was a, it was a spicy a promo. Like I, I thought it was gonna be a match right then and there, but Cody Rose and Seth Rollins go to SmackDown. Seth Rollins was the one who accepted the challenge of the two on two match, but The Rock puts a little stipulation on it. The Bloodline wins. Night two of WrestleMania is gonna be Bloodline rules. If The Rock and Roman Reigns win the um two on two match. But if they lose and the two-on-two -two match is going to be a fair trade one-on-one, -on -one, no interference from the bloodline, no outside interference. I keep saying no outside interference, but you guys know just like I know, this is the biggest WrestleMania that's ever been put out in history. So with that being said, there's going to be a betrayal. I don't know who's going to be the betrayal yet, but there's going to be a betrayal. Watch what I tell you. But I'm telling you, bro, I want to show y'all this clip. I want to show y'all the clip of what happened on why I got the thumbnail. But it's like, I know I'm going to get copyrighted. But for you guys, I'm willing to take that copyright. I'm going to show y'all this clip. <laughs> the Rock got smacked by Cody, but he ate that slap, though. So that lets me know that The Rock is not even phased by nothing that Cody. Dude, The Rock is on overall 99, bro. Like, the, Roman is on 100, The Rock is on 99. The slap that Cody gave Rock, that was like a, a, he didn't even put no energy into that, or he put energy into it, it just didn't hurt The Rock, because The Rock is so big and brute. So, that was crazy. I just want to see how this thing is going to play out. Like, what is the bloodline rules? Like, we already know that it's going to be a, we already know if the bloodline wins, it's going to be a crazy, crazy in a, amount of interference that is just going to just stop. Oh, wait a second. I just realized. Bloodline interferes. Let's just say hypothetically speaking. The Rock and Roman do win. The Bloodline rules. Seth is gonna come out and help Cody. Jay is gonna come out and help Cody. And whoever else that he made friends with on the Raw roster is gonna come and help out. Cody will win the match. But let's just say the Bloodline loses. There's gonna be a betrayal on night two. We already know this for a fact. There's gonna be a betrayal on night two. The question is who? 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 is gonna betray Roman Reigns. Like, that's my biggest takeaway. Like, I'm No, that's not really my biggest takeaway. My biggest takeaway is who's going to lose the match, though, in this two-on-two -two match? Like, who's gonna get pinned? Because Seth, Seth, in my opinion, is gonna be the only person who can get pinned because technically he got a match already. So if it's between Rock and Roman, who's gonna take that fall? Mmm, see, this may be another, this may be another hypothetical. What if the match gets thrown out by disqualification? Then who's gonna take, like, does that technically mean that Seth and Cody wins? Or does that mean The Rock and Roman wins? Like, who's gonna take that fall? Like, I'm curious. I'm really curious to see how this whole thing is gonna play out. Like, I'm so excited for WrestleMania, like, to come because I wanna see who's going to win. Like, I want to know how this whole angle is going to play out. It's going to be wild. You guys know it. I know it. It's going to be insane. Whew. I just want to know who's going to take that ball. Who's going to take that fall, bro? I guess only Tom will tell. But you guys already know. I'm going to keep you guys locked in. <laughs> you guys already know we're going to be locked in. Like, we locked in on this whole storyline angle. Like, we, we can't wait to WrestleMania. We want, well, I'm not going to say we want. You guys want Cody to finish the story. 
uh, I'm, mm, I, I want Roman to go at least another another few months as the champion to see how, how this whole thing is going to play out. But granted, I'm here for Cody. I'm here for Cody. I don't want you guys to think that, oh, I'm against Cody. No, no, no. Love Cody wrestling style. I just want to see like what is going to happen if Cody loses. That's my biggest thing. I want to see how this whole thing is going to play out. But you guys know I'm split down in the middle. No bias section over here. But you already know what it is, man. Everybody stay tuned. Stay tuned till the next few drops because we're keep you guys live on this update. We keep you guys live on this story. It's going to be crazy. I just want to know how this raw situation is going to play out. And you already know what it is. We locked in. Yes, sir.